Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're back for another baking video and we're gonna be making my most favorite brownies ever. I've done so many types, but this is by far my most favorite. It's not for everyone, but I absolutely love it. I literally could eat the whole tray, like that's how bad it is. And I've been dying to show it to you guys. You guys have been really wanting a brownie recipe as well. I'm gonna give today's post notification shout out to Tanya Gon. So thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. so today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. And they have thousands of lessons for creative and curious people on topics like photography, video baking and so much more i think you and i should really make it a priority to be a lifelong learner just expanding your knowledge is so so important every day i'm constantly learning new stuff and for me it was baking and also if you're finding yourself in a rut or you find that you have an extra time on your hands especially during these times then finding a new hobby would be great or deepening a, a passion that you already have would be amazing. So for me, it's been baking and I found a bunch of lessons on Skillshare. I always push myself and you guys to be lifelong learners, just always expanding your knowledge and learning new things. There's a cake artist on Skillshare called Ellie Simon and she does amazing, beautiful cakes, especially with cake decorating, which I feel like I definitely need to improve on. There's a lesson that she did on nailing fondant. I've never worked with fondant and it's something I definitely want to try and do in a video one day and I've been watching this lesson I think I'll be able to do a fondant on a cake very soon I also do get a bunch of questions from you guys on how to use a camera or how to edit well and uh, to be honest I'm not the best with camera settings and all of that but there are a bunch of lessons on Skillshare that will help to teach you how to you know manage the certain camera you have or even how to set up a camera lighting there are so many topics available on Skillshare so I definitely recommend it and also these videos are for people who want to learn there are no ads so it's just really convenient get straight to the point and they're under like an hour-ish so it can fit your schedule a bit more easily so guys the first thousand people that click the link in my description box will get a two-month free trial of premium membership so you can go explore your creativity so make sure to click on it guys because that's an amazing deal and after that the subscription is under ten dollars a month on the annual subscription so it's such a bargain guys I just want us all to be amazing lifelong learners you know expand that knowledge find that new hobby or excel in something you already like that you're maybe not entirely good at i'm so happy to have skillshare sponsoring this video because i stand by learning and i've always mentioned this to you guys another thing i really want to do maybe over the summer is learn the piano again because i used to play really well before and there's a bunch of music lessons on skillshare so that's definitely something i'm going to be checking out for myself in the future all right guys let's get into the brownies i'm just going to quickly run through the ingredients that you need so three large eggs 165 grams of chocolate i use a mix of 35 percent and 54 percent i do half half because i don't really like the taste of rich rich brownies so i kind of mix it up you can get 70 percent dark chocolate if you like a rich brownie i find that this combination really works for me and my family because they don't really like dark chocolate either but if you're like kind of dark chocolate fan but not really then 54% is not bad either. Then got 165 of room temperature unsalted butter, 120 grams of self-raising flour. You can use plain flour, but I've only got self-raising. 330 grams of caster sugar, 45 grams of cocoa powder with a bit of baking powder and salt. And I use this cocoa powder. It's actually really, really nice. So really happy with this one. Okay, so I've got a little bit of water simmering here and I'm gonna put a metal bowl on top and we're just gonna put our butter in and our chocolate. And this is just slowly gonna melt together. So once everything has melted, I'm gonna put this to the side so it can cool down. I'm now gonna put in my sugar and eggs and we're going to cream this until it becomes light and fluffy so it's really great when it's kind of like doubled in size and is much paler color so now we're going to take our melted chocolate and butter and we're going to pour this straight in 
Now you want to make sure that this is cooled down because you don't want it cooking your eggs. So now I'm going to put in my flour and our cocoa powder with baking powder and a little bit of salt. Let's give this a quick mix. Batter is so yum. I'm just going to take my spatula and make sure everything is mixed properly, especially at the bottom. Sometimes there's some residue at the bottom. Okay, so I put some parchment paper in my baking tin and I'm just going to put the whole batter in here. Right, so now I'm going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes or 25 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. Um, I kind of like it when it's a bit fudgy, so I don't want it completely cooked. But if you do, just leave it in for longer and wait for a toothpick to come out clean. If a little bit comes out on the toothpick, then I don't mind because I really do like a fudgy brownie. Right, so now for the fun part, we're going to make our caramel. So I'm going to put a pan on a medium-high heat. I like to put my own amount of cornflakes uh, caramel cornflakes on my brownies because I felt like the original recipe had a bit too much sweetness and a bit too much caramel um, for me personally so I'm going to halve the caramel uh, recipe so I've got 300 grams of sugar you just want to slowly kind of stir this I mean it takes a bit of a while but you'll see that this will slowly start to melt So now that I can't see any like lumps in it, we're gonna put our double cream in. But you just wanna be careful with this, but it kinda gets a little bit crazy. It looks like a science experiment, but we're gonna put our double cream in. I'm gonna turn the heat off for a bit. Just keep mixing, put the heat back on. I'm just gonna put the rest in here. So that was like 200 grams of double cream. I'm gonna put in my butter. Maybe I should have cut that into smaller pieces. Just let that melt in there. I'm also gonna put some of my vanilla extract. Now for this, you're gonna need a candy thermometer. I actually got this on Amazon for really cheap, so it's easy to get but you're gonna need it for this recipe so i kind of put on, on it's on celsius and i want it to be at one i think it's 118 degrees celsius okay it went to 118 degrees celsius and now it's ready so now i'm gonna grab my cornflakes this is just the regular one and i'm just gonna pour however much i want So when your cornflakes is more or less evenly coated, then you can start adding it onto your brownie. Okay, so this is what the brownie looks like. It's got a really nice sheen on the top. I'm really happy with it. It did come, kind of rise on the edges, but I don't really mind that. So I'm just going to put the cornflakes on top of that. Okay, so now I'm going to let this fully cool down and even put it in a fridge and I'll be back later today around lunchtime because it's actually really early in the morning right now. And yeah, I'll show you guys how it looks then. I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to obviously eat it. Alright guys, this is what the brownies look like. Um, I didn't put it in a fridge because I actually kind of like it. The, the brownie is perfect. It's chewy. It's just how I like it. I love it so much. As you can tell, a lot of it's gone already. Okay guys, these are my absolute favourite brownies. Oh my god, I don't know how Cupcake Gemma came up with such an amazing recipe. Like, these are the best brownies ever. So we're going to do taste test. Very yummy. Very, very yummy. Look at that. 
and the brownie is perfect so yum i'm so proud of myself right now um because i haven't made the brownie that well in the in my previous tries i've done it so many times though so yummy guys um i feel like i'm gonna put it in the fridge because it's definitely better it just holds together and it's way chewier too um it's not you don't need to but it is really yummy so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little baking video i definitely recommend you guys trying it out it's so so good um i'll link the recipe and cupcake gemmas video in the info box if you guys want to check it out and also make sure to check out the link in the info box to join skillshare and learn as much as you can guys and yeah i will see you in my next video